everyone. So I have a little bit of a Mac haul for you. Um, I actually picked this stuff up on, well, I tried to order on Boxing Day because I heard that the Strength Collection would release on Boxing Day, which is December 26th, and there's always a collection that releases that day, except, um, I don't know, there was like this whole confusion with this collection, and it was super frustrating. I, I, I called the Mac store in the morning to save a couple lipsticks for me because I didn't make it to the mall until like 11 and I was really scared that the stuff would sell out so um, they actually told me that the collection wouldn't re release until um, January 3rd and then there was a lot of like online like on forums and stuff saying that they got the wrong information and that the collection actually released on the 26th I ended up calling like the bay like the Mac counters at the bay and stuff and they said that they wouldn't be getting the collection so it was really like frustrating I ended up ordering some stuff online on the 26th because that's when it hit um, the Mac website but um, there was like some issue with my credit card and it didn't like process until yesterday or a couple days ago and I got my online order a couple days ago but I did end up going to the Mac store on the 3rd because I was able to pre-order on the 26th for some of this stuff so um, finally I got all my stuff and I'm super excited so I'm gonna get started with what's on my lips right now and this is called Pink Pigeon and I have a swatch right there Super, super gorgeous bright pink right there. And if you think that this is similar to like Girl About Town or Candy Yum Yum, it is nothing like Candy Yum Yum whatsoever. Um, I do have Candy Yum Yum. It's more of like a neon blue based pink. And I feel like this has more of like a warm tone. It is closer to Girl About Town, but I feel like Girl About Town is more fuchsia and um, less bright. So that's that. I ended up getting a backup of that actually as well. Um, where is it? Right here. So I have an extra one which I'm so happy that I'll never run out of this color because you know a little goes a long way with these matte um, lipsticks. And I do like the formula of these matte lipsticks. They're not as drying as like Ruby Woo and stuff like that. Next one here is Party Parrot. This is what I was most excited for. I skipped out on this last year when it came out with the Iris at Full Collection just because my friend was with me and she said that I had a lot of lipsticks that were very similar. So I didn't purchase it, but now I'm just, oh, I'm so happy that I have it. So it's that one in the middle. It's kind of like a, um, it's really a complex color. It's like a red and a coral and a pink, all masked mashed into one lipstick and it is a matte finish as well. All of these are matte finishes which I really like and um, this is very similar to Impassion so Party Parrot, Impassion, yeah they're kind of similar but I would say Impassion has more of a pink tone and I do really like Impassion as well. Um, it's one of my favorite shades for the summertime. So I was really happy with Party Parrot and that one sold out super fast online. The next one I have here is in Strong Woman. So it looks like this. Um, it's a super dark berry tone purple and this is a matte finish as well. The swatch is right there and it looks nothing like up, up the amp if you're wondering. Um, I heard a lot of people say that it looks kind of like up the amp but it totally doesn't. It's more darker and more intense, more plum toned I would say. And this looks amazing if you have dark hair. So um, if you, even if you're pale and you try this out, it looks great. I tried it last night and I really, really like this lipstick. Next thing I have here is from my MAC online order and I got it from the Making Pretty collection and I was like looking for this lipstick but then I couldn't find it in store. It was sold out and it was sold out the day that it released or the day after it released. That's when I checked the MAC website and um, I just kind of gave up on it. I was like I'm never going to get that lipstick, whatever. But um, I got it and it's 3N. The packaging, I'm not too crazy about it. I think it kind of looks weird. So this like leathery material and then there's like a seam on the side. It kind of looks weird. But anyways, um, I really love the color. It's super gorgeous and that's what it looks like and I believe this was $33. I did not look at the price when I ordered it online and I was like, I looked at my invoice I'm like $33 for this? But um... It is really a gorgeous color. It is a luster finish and it is just a really pretty nude color. 
um, and it sold out super quickly. So I guess I'm not the only one who spent $33 on this lipstick. So um, the swatch is right there. Super like different scheme we have going on here. I mean we have like the bright and then we have the dark and then we have the light one. So yeah, I'm really excited for this lipstick. I am happy that I got it. Would I say it's worth $33? I mean, you, you're just basically paying for this packaging, and I don't think that this packaging is worth $33. I like the inner tube part, but this material thingy, I'm not crazy about. So that's that. Um, and the very last thing that I picked up was from the Après Chic collection, and this is in the blush, or this is a blush, and it's in the color Amber Glow. Looks like this. Um, it's a very light color. I would say that this is a really nice winter color, especially if you're pale. Um, and it's kind of like a peachy toned, like light, I don't know, light peachy pink, I would say. It has a lot of shimmer in there. It's really pretty. Um, I don't know if I would use this as a blush or, like, if I would layer this with another peachy blush or if I would use it as a highlight. I mean, this color is kind of universal. You could use it for many different things. So that's the swatch right there. I don't know if you can see that. But it's just a really pretty blush. And um, to be honest with you, I got it because of the name. My middle name is Amber. So I picked up this blush because it had Amber in the name. But um, it is a really nice color and a really nice blush. And um, I do really like Max Mineralized blushes. So that is pretty much it for my MAC haul. I'm going to be doing a Boxing Day haul as well. Uh, within the next few days hopefully and um, I'm also going to be doing a Laura Geller haul because I purchased a lot of Laura Geller stuff in the past month so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one bye everyone I awake at night you still think of me you miss the love we knew are you falling apart